Guys, I just arrived Gatwick Airport now. So I'm just waiting for my flight and walking around, but I was able to check in my luggage already. Um, hoping that uh, I'll be leaving soon, but just to update you how it goes. I've just arrived in London, Gatwick Airport in London. So I'm going to take my trip for five days to Malta. And I'm going to show you can be able to take the Rolls Royce to find the Malta. So this is my journey starts from Gatwick Airport. So join me as I move and I'll catch up with you soon. Enjoy yourself and happy by the time. Goodbye for now. Yeah, this moment, um, still inside the airport, uh, waiting for the flight. So, um, um, I was climbing the staircase and was looking downward, looking for exact position to go to relax myself. At this moment, I was at the airport waiting for my flight and I needed to rest to get some food that I order. Uh, you only have to order online and they will, they will serve the food to you. But when the breakfast come, I was already eating to give to a kind of a top 10 or top five. But it was sausage that I bought that I was eating. It was quite funny, I needed to laugh because while waiting, it was not really what I wanted, but it was fun. That I could just eat it and while waiting for the flight. It was pretty amazing anyway. But I tried to try to give it five. <laughs> It was not really that nice, but it's like a fast breakfast that one has to eat while taking my time. But you see, it was a pretty quiet moment. Yes, I just arrived at the airport in Malta. Our flight just touched the ground and I was going down now to the bus. But what amazed me was the weather was 16 degrees. It was quite really amazing. And that was what I was looking forward for as compared as we're just coming back from the UK. The weather was going good. And I'm getting to the bus to get for my passport control. We're given menu. So we have to look what they have for the evening dishes. Our supper. And she has already briefed us what we have to do or what we are looking at. And it was a cool restaurant if you look around. So it was quite beautiful. They were actually preparing for Valentine. So I wanted to witness to see how they celebrate their Valentine. But unfortunately, the table we are filled up. Well, we are looking to see what we could order, what we had to go for, and hoping that we we'll get the best. They were quite difficult menu because most of them, they were not on picture to see what you really like. You need to be a good <laughs> person who fishes a better food to know exactly what was going on. 
but it was a cool evening people were outside there was swimming pool finally i have placed my order and i was now um waiting to have the meal come but she was describing to me what is going to be used to prepare like the red wine and stuff like that but i was curious and anxious to know what i exactly want and for the wine i had wanted a red wine or a white wine that was a little bit sweet <laughs> but we decided to choose uh, a white wine so i'm waiting to see what exactly that will come so it was a moment of anxiety and anxious and curious to see what kind of food it looks like the selection was a little bit complicated but let's see what they will bring in it's the first night in Malta so let's see what's gonna come up probably could turn out to be brilliant the whole place was amazing now they have brought a kind of bread it's like an Arab bread uh, like starter with a special green uh, he call it the Masi but I have never tested it before and a special um, bottle like an oil that could be mixed with with this bread so it was a bit anxious for me to test it i looked at it but i wanted to be sure what was what looks like and i so let me test it wow it got broken into my mouth I like it that was quite beautiful and uh, it was really tasty but it was very cold but it looks okay and nice because there was olive oil on it that was like a welcome test finally um the food have just arrived and i was quite anxious to see what they have for me wow that was a lot of muscle and it's an entire it's prepared in the form of an Italian dish they said with a bit of wine and orange at the same time and lemon as well it says mortar muslin anyway. curious at this moment to have it tested um, I said let me just pick one and see how it looks like I was curious because I've not tested this though I've ate it once in Italy it was really good and beautiful the test was quite really nice you could see the flavor from the orange and lemon out and the olive oil and that was a sauce uh, she explained that could be used um, with it because about 18 euros probably about 20 dollars but it was amazing that could take the whole night and it fills the plate and they were kind of scrappy bread on top and you have to use the lemon and spring around the dishes to bring out the flavor and the taste and there was a fried bread on it i know the probably that was a tradition tested it it was quite amazing and crunchy as well and quite excellent I love it very well hope that you come to Malta and you can go to the city of Valletta and you can top with actually they said traditionally with white wine 
that was beautiful and he could feel the taste and the flavor that was a very beautiful supper i could not imagine and very brilliant that could give it 10 on